There's a village where people and scarecrows live together in harmony. それか今から19年前ぐらいから菓子を作り始めました。Hey, get back to work. You should be working. Don't just stand there. Pretty creepy. Now this would be the worst room to stumble upon at night. Yeah, apparently there was a car that just went up to the entrance, and the guy got out of his car and started beeping. All right, everyone, so we're hiding in the woods now. Hard to believe that the Japanese used to live in these type of buildings. Oh, what the heck? Just found this. Yo, Dave. Coffee. Do you actually have some yen? 130 Dang, yen. <laughs> I want to get the real gold. Moment, we're heading to Scarecrow Village, and we're just driving by this crazy mountainside with houses built on the hills. There's even a river down here that you can hear. Kind of reminds me of the abandoned river hotel that I explored, but a lot smaller. This is an energy drink. Great way to start the adventure. I don't know. As we're driving by, we already see some scarecrows. I was like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> Steve, you shit yourself. Man. Yeah, I thought it was like five old grandmas. Look at this. They look real. Actually, they're more real than I imagined. They're scary real. They look legit. <laughs> 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 Dude, I was like, they're rocking North Face. Oh, oh, I thought it was a North Face hat. No, that's Paula Neck face, Paula bro. Paula Neck face. Get with it. What that is? face. Paula Neck face. What does <laughs> Paula Neck even mean? It's the, I don't even know, but it's. Yeah, this is a chill spot that they're next to. There's a ladder. Well, it's probably really slippery. I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, no way. Still cool spot. The river's so clean though. Japan water is like mad clean. What's up, guys? This is known as Nagoro Village, aka Scarecrow Village. It's a unique riverside town in Tokushima Prefecture, on Japan's smallest island, Shikoku. What's crazy is that the Scarecrow residents outnumber the actual people that live here. Now, you might be wondering who made all of this. Well, it was one person that lives here. It's all created single-handedly by a longtime resident known as Ayano Tsukimi. Hey, what does he want? え、20年前にここのここに帰ってきました。そしてそれか今から19年前ぐらいからカカシを作り始めました。この村には今350ぐらいのカカシがおります。えー、村人は25名です。作り始めたきっかけはえー、っと。And it's all because she got tired of seeing her own village that she grew up in decline over the years. So. She decided to repopulate it with her creations of scarecrows, and over time, this place just became a tourist attraction. Osaka から帰ってきて畑とかもしないといけないので畑に種をまいたところ全然芽が出てこなかったのでちょっとカカシでも作ってみようかなと思って作り始めました。私は大阪に居る時から趣味でずっとこのカカシをあの小さい人形を作っていました。ここに帰ってきてからそのカカシが大きくなっただけです。And she's created more dolls resembling celebrities, like the ones right here next to me. We got our boy Donald Trump right here. And who else can I recognize? I think that's it. I only recognize Donald Trump right there. But besides Donald Trump, she also created a Where's Waldo. So we're gonna have to find him around here in the village. And she also made characters from the Harry Potter series, alongside famous Japanese comedians and actors. So. You know, you're not just coming here to see scarecrows, but you're coming here to see replicas of celebrities that you may like. And besides seeing these scarecrows as the main attraction, there's also some Buddhist temples uh, a few walks away. 
but I think this is definitely the main attraction if you ever want to come and visit this area. あの、たくさんの外国の方がここに来られて、今日もほとんど外国あの、来られるお客さんの8割ぐらいはあの、大阪あの、なんていうかな、外国人の方が来られています。とても賑やかになって嬉しく思っています。以上です。Right over here is where you can get some pamphlets that kind of tell you more about Scarecrow Village. There's a village where people and scarecrows live together in harmony. Is Trump the ruler? <laughs> and then, yeah, if we open it up, what's nice is that it's in English and Japanese. Uh, it says the complete story right here. 2002, Tsukimi Ayano came back to Nagaro where she grew up from Osaka. The following year, she made a scarecrow that looked like her father in order to protect the field from the damage of the crows. Then it became interesting to watch the neighbors saying hi to the scarecrow. Since then, she has been making scarecrows, which are now over 300 scarecrows. She also visits various regions to teach how to make scarecrows. And then this is how it became a world tour. It happened in 2014 when a German student was studying in Hiroshima, visited Nagoro. He attracted attention of all people all over the world by a video of scarecrows he posted on the internet. And yeah, here's a little guide too on how to make a scarecrow. You guys can pause the screen. And then of course you have this, which shows Ia Valley Oboke Gorge. Wow, that looks beautiful. I would love a photo here. But yeah, you just come over here. You got the scarecrows running in the booth. You don't need to buy tickets. Everything is free to see. And right next to it is this. If you recognize any scarecrows, Definitely leave a comment down below. They kind of look Japanese. So for over here. I mean, that guy looks like another Trump. Oh, nice. You're able to sign like a guest book. All right, what's the date today? I think it is the 5th. What should we say, guys? Beautiful, unique place. The Ronin family loves Scarecrow Village. Steve Ronin YouTube. <laughs> now, if this place has intrigued you and you want to come here, Here's how to get here. Now, Nagaro Village is about a two hour drive from Tokushima Station or a five hour trip from Wakayama via the Tokushima Ferry. I really recommend you just rent a car to come here because it's very difficult and far to come here from a station. And that's exactly what we did. We're on this road trip in Japan. We got the car and that's why we decided to come here after so many years. I think I've always wanted to come here ever since I heard about it four or five years ago. We got a biker here just making a pit stop, I guess. Hey, you okay, buddy? You all right? I think he's just hang, admiring the views over here of the scarecrow farmers. Hey, get back to work. You should be working. Don't just stand there. <laughs> yeah, they're just chilling here. Not sure what kind of crops they're planting. I mean, it's an actual farm field. The crops is real. But not only do these scarecrows, you know, are for attracting visitors, it's also used to just, you know, scare birds or animals away from the crops. What's that? Is this a souvenir you can buy? That's pretty cool. It's made of clay. I think it's worth 2,000 yen. I might go buy it. Um, excuse me? Where do I buy this? Who can help me buy? <laughs> Is this the cashier? Hey, can you, can you help me buy this souvenir? Dude, I want this. How do we buy it? I'm gonna go find someone that actually lives here to help me out. Yeah, I guess down the road here. Is locked off. I think someone might actually be living there. Now there's another side over here. That's a bridge right over the river. I love how clean the water is. Gotta love Japan for that. Such a clean country. I guess we could even keep going down the road over there. And I still see scarecrows. Yeah, there's not much over here. Looks like there's residents just living there. Most of the residents are farmers, I guess. That's how they make their money. This place is really unique. Not really getting creepy vibes. I mean, it's kind of creepy. I bet you at night it's a whole different story exploring this place. But there really is no haunted factor with these scarecrows. 
Look at them, tending the wood. Jeez. You know, they say that the residents talk to the scarecrows and now I'm doing it too. Maybe they are like real. Maybe there's a spirit in them which makes me want to talk to them and sit down. We're now entering deeper into the town. We still got some scarecrows. I want to find Waldo. I think that's the mission for today is to find Waldo. If you guys ever see him, just leave a comment down below. I might miss him. The heck, there's a uh, scarecrow fisherman down there. Would you look at that, even the scarecrows go fishing. I don't know if he's doing a good job. You catch any fish today? I mean, look at the river. Looks like it's low tide. Well, look, we have a natural person over there just cleaning his backyard. Oh my, okay, okay. So we just met the creator of the Scarecrows. This is Ayano Tsukimi. I was just walking down the street. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'll use a translator. You can speak in Japanese and maybe just explain the story of Scarecrow Village. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, like this? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, hi. YouTube. Uh, Oh, hi. Oh, okay. this one. This? Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Alright, so you just like this. Explain what it's like living here and how it's like today with all the tourists. Okay. 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 Wow, guys, that was amazing meeting Ayano Tsukimi. Really nice lady. You can tell by her face that she's just a um, ball of positive energy. But, you know, I'll probably add that part when I interviewed her in the beginning of the video too. So yeah, that's how I met her guys. Just walking down the street and you'll be able to meet her too while you explore here. Now over here we have a walking scarecrow. Looks like a YouTube scarecrow, right? No, 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 I caught you walking. <laughs> What's over there? You're the car key. Yeah. Um, so up in here, Is there a school? Yeah, the school's over there. Okay. Um, we met the owner. Yeah, I met the owner too. Even James May's been here, he's signed his scarecrow in there. Holy crap. You know James Mays? Nah. Oh, Top Gear, English. Probably won't know. Here you go. So James May works in a famous program called Top Gear. Yeah. You must know, uh, you've not seen it on Amazon Prime, um, I don't think it was called there. I might have. That was funny. Um, she actually, so we were, we were talking off camera, and she actually said that she's going to make me a scarecrow here in Scarecrow Village. So, she said it'll be ready by next year. So that's another reason why for you Ronin fans to come through if you're ever here in Japan to Scarecrow Village because you're going to see a scarecrow of me. <laughs> that's going to be amazing, yo. I'm definitely coming back next year. Wow, so there's a school right over here. It's an abandoned school. We can get in there. I'm actually really happy that there's an abandoned building here for you guys to check out. 
Look at that, it's a mom and her kid. About to bring him to school. Little scarecrow boy. That's probably the name, or maybe that says entrance in Japanese. Damn, this is an amazing entrance to get to school. The river right next to you. I wonder how many kids go to school here. And then we got the, the flag men, which is what I like to call it here. You won't see a flag man anyone else but here. Basically, they just wave a flag around to instruct traffic. Oh, it's Waldo, Dan. <laughs> it's Wally. It's Waldo. Right. Where's Waldo? Let's have a poll. It sounds way better. Where's Waldo? We're, let's have a poll, right? Okay, okay. Right, we'll have, have a, poll. a poll. Let's count them in the comments, right? All right. If you are a fan of Where's Wally, leave me a comment down below. If you're a fan of Where's Waldo, leave a comment down below. And what's the prize? Well, the winner is, is the official name. <laughs> Whoever has the most All right. is the official name, right? There should be one more. Winner gets ice cream. Nah, winner gets champon. Champ we're not gonna find champon here. Oh yeah, we're not. We're not <laughs> okay, right. Winner gets. Winner gets. What? A DBZ figure of choice. Done deal, Dad. All right. Done deal. <laughs> you, you're on. You're on, Steve. You're going down. All right, right. I'm gonna go and find where's Wally. Ronan fan, comment on this video if it ever posts this and says Waldo. Okay. If I find where's Wally. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you where's Waldo, bro. Uh, well, here's a school. We got an entrance here. Wow, this probably has the most scarecrows. What the heck? So this is where over maybe close to 200 or 300 scarecrows are staying in, in the school. You got the slippers for them. Uh, I think it's okay to just walk with our shoes, right? Kind of feel bad. I think it's okay. I mean, look, the scarecrows are wearing shoes. I can probably too. Hey, what, what's up, fam? How's everyone doing? They're all like staring at me. Damn, it's like rear, pretty creepy. Now this would be the worst room to stumble upon at night. Look at them all. Okay, now some of these scarecrows are replicas of famous people. We got Dunn, Joe. I think the ones with tags are the famous ones here. Hopefully she made all of this. Wonder how long it takes to make. Ayano-san, the impeccable scarecrow village. Go, go, go. I mean, this one's signed by the actual person. Well, I guess I'll be one of these, and by next year, I'll be Scarecrow here. Oh, look at the Scarecrow kids. This is such, so many. Maybe I'm not allowed to walk over here. There's even more right here on the stage. Oh, there's a wedding going on. That's lovely, the Scarecrow's getting married too. This reminds me of the Squid Game rope challenge. They're playing tug of war. Now this is really awesome too. I wonder if she made this as well. It's a handmade samurai doll. That's so sick. The only available room is the gym. I mean, I can see more scarecrows from the front entrance of the school. I think that's security. <laughs> security scarecrow. Yeah, you can see a bunch still. Hmm. I don't think we can get inside though. Damn. Well, kind of sucks that the school's not even being used. But then again, if it was, there'd probably be only like less than 10 students coming here. Wow. We got some murals over there. A lot of schools have these type of things. I've seen this on Battleship Island too, where they create murals on the walls near the playground. And we got the swings. <sighs> They're still working quite nicely. <sighs> Man, I haven't been on a swing in ages. <laughs> <sighs> it's good to just take a little break of exploring. I swear I probably did more than 100,000 steps on this trip. But anyway, I think we've seen pretty much of everything. I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. If you have, don't forget to leave a like to the video and definitely share it to a friend or loved one. We'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below what you've enjoyed for the most part. I think that's pretty much it. We've seen everything in this town. I think there's a little gift shop as we head back to the car to check out. But yeah, it's definitely a really unique place to visit and I highly recommend coming here. 
besides making this documentary for you guys, I've been also taking a lot of photos, which you gotta check out on my Instagram, at Steve Ronan, or go down to the link in the description. I would love for you guys to follow me on there, because that's where I post the latest photos, and I post Instagram stories of where I am in the moment. So yeah, it's a great way to just keep updated with my life. But yeah, straight ahead is the gift shop. Oh, here's a map of the area. See, there's a lot of things to see here. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, Scarecrow Village is going to be our only visit. But I would love to like hike up here or see this town. Beautiful. Go we'll get a souvenir. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, it's another, basically another display. I really thought this was going to be like a little gift shop. Oh, I think it's meant to showcase a shrine. I guess didn't find Waldo. Uh, yeah. I didn't find Wally. Where, Where is Wally? Wally? That's a Disney movie, Dan. Dan you're no, mixing no, it up. Wally, you agree, Wa don't you? Waldo is literally the the white. Yes. Yeah, the white and uh, red yeah, dude. dude. Yeah, the, yeah, so he's, he's somewhere not here? Wally. No. He's where's Wally? I mean, I read online that like if you want to play a fun game, you yeah. can try to find where's Waldo here. So. Did you find him yet? That's a secret. I'm not Yo, gonna. We gotta find real, Waldo. real, 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 real explorers can find Waldo. Yo! Only a real explorer hey, can find I'm, it. I'm dropping my bag and I'm looking for Waldo right now. <laughs> now, not only am I trying to find Waldo, but now I'm trying to find Dave. I'm trying to fly my drone and he has the car keys. Dave! You trying to find Dave? I'm trying to find Waldo and Dave now. See, you didn't find Waldo. I'm kidding. No, I did find. Where's Waldo, Steve? I've been here looking. Haha, <laughs> I got a picture of him. What? Yeah, bro. Bro, no! No <laughs> way! Real explorer, where, man. Where is he? Uh, uh, give me a hint. Give me a hint. Is uh, he down there at least somewhere? The hint is... It's a prank. Wait. I didn't find Waldo. Oh. I just took a picture of him from my phone. Oh, you... <laughs> oh, no. I don't know where Waldo is, anyway. Dude. I what? searched everywhere, too. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's false. I think, I think there was a Waldo, but it got so overgrown that we don't see Waldo anymore. I don't know, I just want to get Kobe beef now and... Have Yo, that sounds Kobe good. Driving through Kobe to get to Osaka, so it makes sense. Yeah, f Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ronan fam, an amazing, unique place Scarecrow Village is, and I highly recommend if you ever come to Japan to definitely visit it. Really nice people that live here, and what's... What really got me is the fact that there's no gift shop here. So that means they don't even make money out of tourism, and they must do it for the love of it. But not only that, every 1st of October or early October, they hold a Scarecrow Festival here. I think I might be coming back to Japan in October, so that'd be pretty cool to check out too, especially if uh, the Scarecrow of me is already finished. Who knows? But yeah, just to take it in mind, I just love the community here and I just love how they created something unique. It's definitely out of the ordinary. But leave a comment down below what you enjoyed most about it. And also, yeah, I could not find Where's Waldo, but I was just joking around with my friends that I found it. <laughs> I don't know if there ever is a Waldo here because I didn't see any, but if you happen to come explore one day and find Waldo, definitely leave a comment down below or send me a message because I would love to see if it's actually here. Pretty cool Airbnb. It's like very traditional. We have a actual house to ourselves. Let me check in first and I'll show you guys what's inside. Almost feels like I'm in Rironi Kenshin. Thanks, bro. And you have to take off your shoes before walking around the house. I guess this is my room. I should probably set this up. I guess I'll just use this mattress. I'm kind of afraid if this is gonna fall on me while I sleep. Damn, I really don't like this being here. I guess it's like the only spot to put it. 
Maybe I can put this on top. Good morning, everyone. So I just woke up. We're getting packed and ready for the first explore of today. Um, the goal is to hit this place that has venomous snakes in jars. I think it was some sort of laboratory. And then another place is the Samurai Village Museum that still has everything in there, like the samurai armors and the katanas. I'm quite excited about it, but here's a quick glimpse of our Airbnb right now. This is the hallway. There's a lot of unique stuff. So this is Josh's and dance room. We got the traditional. Yeah, I like it. Tatami style. What's it called? Katami? Tatami. Tatami. Yeah, this place feels like home. There's a lot of decorations and souvenirs that the family has. Check out the samurai mask. Oh, that is sick. Well, we're going to be seeing more of that today, including the full armor set. And over here is Dave's and I's room. Yeah, Dave is staying in here. This is my room. You saw me getting ready, setting up the mattress last night. I slept really good, but when I woke up, it was like really cold in my room. But I like the cold anyway. So this morning, I was, honestly, I was sitting there editing and I took my headphones off and it was just like, like... <laughs> like <laughs> weird noise, you. honestly. And I oh, thought she was in the kitchen. Oh, so was like, it was the same time when you heard yeah. it with Dan? Yeah, yeah so if you heard me, thing. I went, Steve. Because I thought you was waiting there. And there was oh, no. And it was like, yeah. Not really creeching, horrible noise. <laughs> Told you. Yeah. I what was it? It was the, the, it was the woman, like the grandma. crawling along the floor backwards. I'll take that. Or maybe I used to take that one. Yeah. Damn. What do you got there? It's called a premium Swiss roll. Premium Swiss roll. Oh, what is it? Yeah, something like that. Hang on. No, we're not allowed to eat sugar, I mean, Josh. Yeah, what happened to the diet, guys? No, no, no. I Yo, brought, I brought what that happened to the Holy diet? Fuck. I bought that before midnight. <laughs> this shit is bomb. This is better than the other Swiss roll. They made it more premium. You try more. Now. Well, it's that time of day before an explore. We always have to stop by a convenience store like 7 Eleven or Lawson's. Gotta grab my daily fried chicken and some drinks before we explore. Bro, it's JDM Village over here. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Yo, Subies. Where are we right now? Where the heck are we, Dan? Dan, we gotta rent some JDM cars. Bro, literally like eight of them went down the road. Just now? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, that's sweet corn, what? Corn and corn mayonnaise. mayonnaise. I don't Bro, know about it. that. Someone's gotta get it. We can't. Where's no. the Swiss rolls at? No, eat that. No, no one... I'll get you guys some Swiss rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Fried chicken. Hi. Hi. One. Hi. Hi. Now, if you've been following the Fukushima series, this is what I've been doing all the time. It's just getting all these different types of food, trying something new, but always getting the fried chicken every morning. In Japan, huh? They just drive JDM cars and ride around the mountains on the weekends. Bro, this is why I'm moving here. Yeah. It sounds stereotypical, but it's true. Yeah, they don't, they don't have that in uh, the UK, right? We do, but normally it's plagued by idiots. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm ready to explore now. So here it is, up on that hill. Taking a little bit of scope yeah, and trying to figure I, I out where we, we can park. park. In that secret spot because we don't want to be seen. But this is where all the explorers come to park. Oh, this is perfect. This is probably the old car park. So this looks like to be the actual car park to the museum. It's not even that big. But hey, this place is located in the middle of nowhere. So probably, you know, only the locals come here to check it out. This is a perfect hiding area. We've got the trees kind of blocking the view of our car. Yo, guys, do you think there's bears through these forests? Thousand percent. Probably. Thousand percent. Look at the state of that. You're telling me there's not one bear in that? <laughs> Damn, you're right. I'm not nicking Pooh Bear's honey, man. It's a car. 
So if I were to say, oh yeah, we, we saw it on, we saw it on, the on yeah, visit visiting yeah, the but we really want to come and visit. <laughs> yeah. We're like, oh no, we're, we're like, oh no, it's been shut down. Oh, oh, oh we're gonna go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's any bears, we're probably gonna have to get on top of each other's shoulders. Maybe Dave's gonna be the one to carry us. We don't want to be the one in the bottom. So this is the only way up, huh? Yeah, get up. Bro, I got that b-boy balance. Get up. Oh, oh, no! oh, that's where I fell. Dang. That's where I fell. I'm gonna try again. Well, let, let Dan try. Suckers. You ain't gonna do it, bro. Oh. Uh. What the heck? Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> my, bag, my bag's a bit. That's how mine too. was. You might break this. Okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. I'm gonna make it. Oh, there we go. Ooh, second right. time's a charm. What up? Second, second time is a charm. Good <laughs> job. First time. Okay. With my broken toe, by the way. Oh, back. Where's Dave? Oh, toe, by the way. <laughs> All right. Well, there's the map of this museum slash attraction. I think we're sort of right over here. I guess the way we'll, I'll do it is to like go around in a square. Could be talking about bears. It could, it could. Oh, bear attacks ongoing. Please stay inside your home. Actually, you know what? Comments below. What hey guys, so this is the entrance to the museum, which is a replica of a village that the Tenpai clan, a group of refugees that lost during the Genpai War, hid out. And basically just tells the history of them and their people. So yeah, I'm excited to be taking you guys on this tour. But before we begin, I want you all to smash that like button and leave a comment down below where you're from. Let's get inside there. Building right by the gate is probably where you would get your tickets. Calendar from 2009. Oh wow, check this out. It's a pamphlet. Here's another pamphlet too. Yeah, this was the counter where you would get your tickets. Looks like the staff also had a little kitchen. And, um, and then it stopped like near here, reversed all the way back, and then it started driving up. We drove up to the, the gate the entrance. What was you coming back for? It's only for my gimbal. Oh. Right, let's just wait. Yeah, apparently there was a car that just went up to the entrance, and the guy got out of his car and started you, beeping. You seem to help with this. So they definitely okay. saw us. We're just gonna just wait here and see what happens. So the car we saw drove away, and we've been here for about maybe more than 30 minutes. I think it's time we head back in. Hopefully we don't get caught. Well, it's definitely a more eerie vibe now that we experienced that. It feels a lot more stressful exploring this place. All right, dude, what the heck? <laughs> I guess these are the local animals. Oh, well, this is pretty neat. Actually, I don't even know what kind of animal this is, but it looks like this, the deer's from Spirited Away or Studio Ghibli films. But all these animals that are shown are probably the local animals around the region that live here. Got the foxes. These look like raccoons. Ducks. Oh, here's a wild boar. These are probably the deadliest animals here besides bears. But yeah, it's just to show you how the Japanese people dressed like too back in the day. Check out their clothing. But this must have been an era where guns were starting to come. Maybe the last years of the samurai. Damn, this guy's killing the bear. Literally sliced the stomach a wide open. All right, if this guy can kill a bear, we can too, I guess. So a lot of these tiny village homes. Oh, look at this thing. Hard to believe that the Japanese used to live in these type of buildings. Looks like there's a shrine up ahead. We should check out some of the buildings now. Oh, we're inside one of the homes here. It's a good look at how it would look like inside. It's kind of amazing that in Japanese culture, they always tend to preserve the past. I mean, even today in our Airbnb, we have a tatami style room. And the way you have to get inside the home too, before walking right in, like taking your shoes off and wearing slippers, it still remains 
That used to be a wasp's nest, I guess. Traditional tatami style. This is where it originated in these old Japanese homes. What the heck? Look at that mannequin. Got its head in like a pot. Wow, but just imagine entering a home back in the day and having a kettle right in the middle of your living room. The floor is pretty bad. Here's an oni mask. It's huge. Look at that. That's an old kimono. Really big though. Oh, what the heck? Just found this. Not exactly a samurai sword. But yeah, these are just replicas. I don't think they're real. Alright everyone, so we're hiding in the woods now. <laughs> we are in another car. Roll up to the front gate. So now we're here in the woods. Hiding in the woods. Yeah, could be some bears over here. Who knows? We're gonna scoop on the hill. Got the high ground. All right, I think I'm gonna head down now. You might think it's safe. Sucks. It's hard to be stealthy here with all the leaves on the floor, it's making a bunch of noise. Now I'm not really sure what these buildings could have been, but it looks like a shrine, probably like a place of worship where they would pray. <laughs> you can't even step on these stuffs, they're so small. Here's a close up. Oh, what the hell? What are those masks for? I've seen that on Demon Slayer. I think these were for ward. Maybe as a celebration. Really? Or to warn off the enemy. Yeah, this was Tanjiro's first master, I think, mm. that wore this mask. I can't, I can't exactly say exactly. Yeah. It's not what I'm about. But, wait a minute. I want to Google lens it. Oh, I did read, I did read somewhere that they would wear the mask to help impregnate their wife. What? But I'm sure really? I somewhere, yeah. Well, it might not be samurai, but I mean, the noses, no, I'm just saying, like, those noses made me feel like it is. Yeah, What's I have that? something on here brought up. Uh, Japanese Tengu. Mass meaning. Here we go. Oh, it's to bring good luck. So Tengu are a type of mythical creature in Japanese folklore. They are often associated with the mountains. Wearing a Tengu mask is said to bring good luck and protect the wearer from evil spirits. There are many types of Japanese masks like the Tengu. Yeah, all right. Well, I suppose he could worry if he's trying to get a baby for good luck as well. Yeah, true. Almost made of straw. Kind of looks like a, a tool shed. A bunch of hammers and tools over there. So the way the tour is set up is shaped like a square. But look at the field. It's a teepee hut. I didn't even know Japanese people lived in teepees. But you know the native the Native Americans did that too. Yeah, some of these buildings are destroyed. Yeah, this entire corner right here that I'm walking through, it's like a little zoo area. It's hard to tell what kind of animals they kept in here. Uma Toro's house. That was translated into English. Huh. That looks like a chicken coop. Having terrible signal, does no connection. But if you happen to know Japanese, leave a comment down below and tell us what could have been inside these cages. I have a feeling the samurai armor could be inside these buildings. That's what I really want to see. Here's how the TP looks like. Oh, I think this was uh, a restroom. Actually, no, it wasn't. It showcases a lot of artifacts. I think most of it has been taken out of here. As I can see it looks like a dead end over there. Oh, that's probably how it would really look like. I think this fence is kind of brand new. 
Probably made this after they got abandoned to keep the animals away from the... Oh, wow, check this out. There's some like skulls, deer skulls, maybe, and maybe other types of animals too, like a boar. This kind of shows the different types of pottery. I saw we're heading back towards the entrance. That's the most risky spot there. That's where the car stopped last time. This is probably where people could come and pray and drop a coin for good luck. Wait a minute. Shaped like a penis. Maybe that's some sort of god that brings good fortune though. Oh, what's in here? Another room that showcases animals. Yeah, this is probably all real taxidermy that we've been seeing in the video. Just realized there's some fur coats right over here. Okay. Check out this building. Oh, there's another samurai dagger. Bunch of artifacts. This must have been the gift shop because there's price tags on them. If anything, I would have bought that if I came here when this place was active. That's sick. This area is probably a little restaurant too where you can eat. <laughs> Check that out. It's like them samurai hats. Here's the kitchen. Still trying to find the samurai armor. The floor is pretty bad though. Still no samurai armor. I think it's one of these buildings. Is this like a shop? Yeah, it looks like this could have been a shop and maybe they're selling sandals. It must be the merchant. These dream catchers, they look like it. There's some animal skulls there too. I bet you it's real. It's like uh, someone's home. Anything. I probably want to walk inside there. That's a big house. After going around, we're now finally back at this samurai house. And apparently Josh is saying through a picture of reference that it was in here. When the guy pulled up. Place where you put the samurai armor yeah. anyway. And remember he slammed the door shut a few yeah. times like he was grabbing things. Yeah. And now it's gone. <clears throat> All right. So this is the photo of reference we've been looking at. Yep, it's exact, this is, it's oh, the wow. same house okay. because of the Oni mask or whatever. Definitely where the samurai armor was. Same angle and everything as this photo right here. It's a shame that we were too late. Maybe that security guy was the one that took the stuff in here because he was scoping the area for a good amount of time. He was here for like 30 to an hour. Maybe he was just taking all the pieces of armor with him when he saw us. Well guys, so I just made it back to the car. That's a shame that the samurai armors have been stolen. I would never have thought something like that could have happened here in Japan because the Japanese explorers and people in general are just super respectful. They never want to take stuff or move stuff around. My guess it could have been a foreigner found out about this spot and took the things inside them. But nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy this exploration.